Now that we have our dimension toolbar pulled up, we're going to access the dimension style manager and bring this menu forward. Um, as we said in the very beginning, the rule for creating CAD designs and drawings is that they should be created full size using real world units. And the more that you're involved with things like this, the more that makes sense of why it should be. Uh, you have several different lines that are displayed when you do dimension things. You have your uh, dimension lines, which have the arrowheads, extension lines, which extend out to the object. You have your leader lines, which point to rounded objects, fillets and rounds. You have center marks, angular dimensions, um, align dimensions, the dimension text itself, all of these things you can go through and customize for whatever you may want. Instead of using the default, we're going to create a new dimension style and call it mechanical. Click on the button to continue. We're going to check on the primary units and select fractional as the unit format. If you want to, you can check out on your own the different options available. Uh, most of the settings are pretty self-explanatory. We have architectural, it's dealing more with feet and inches, and it's set up for that decimal, scientific, um, engineering. For right now, let's just focus on fractional. Select the Fit tab. And notice the two options under Scale for Dimension Features. We have scale of dimensions to layout and use the overall scale of whatever it may be. We can manually adjust the dimension scale factor or let AutoCAD automatically adjust the scale factor. So, for example, if our drawing will fit on a size paper, that's normal 8.5 by 11, we'd use a scale factor of 1. If we decided to plot the same drawing on B size paper, which is a little bit larger. We'll need to set the dimension scale factor to 2. It's possible to let AutoCAD determine the scale factor based on the layout settings, which we can talk more about later. Uh, but for right now, let's leave this as an overall scale factor of 1 and just know that that's set for normal computer sized paper for a part that would fit on it in real life let's go over to text here for your text height we're gonna change this to 0.125 it's an eighth of an inch select the lines tab and we're gonna change a couple of things on this we'll set the uh, extension beyond dimension lines to 0.125 Uh, for symbols and arrows, we're going to change the arrow size and center marks to 0.125. And you can see it's updating here what the preview would look like. Uh, there are different options available on this page that let us turn off one or both extension lines, dimension lines, and arrowheads. And the center mark, I'm sorry, the center mark option is used to control the appearance of center marks and center lines for any time you have a diameter or radius as shown here in the picture. Uh, let's click set current to make the mechanical our current style and then close out the box